Ever wondered how you can lock down your Microsoft Teams, SharePoint sites, and Power BI workspaces with just one label? In this episode, I'll show you how sensitivity labels can do exactly that so you can take the control you need over your collaboration spaces with precision and control. So welcome back to this SC401 exam prep series and this part eight, we're diving into how to apply sensitivity labels to containers like Teams, SharePoint, Power BI and Microsoft 365 groups. Well, in Microsoft Purview, which is where we are standing by to explore, containers refer to collaborative environments like Microsoft Teams for chat and meetings, SharePoint Online for document libraries and sites, Power BI workspaces for data analytics and dashboards, and Microsoft 365 groups, which underpin Teams and other collaborative services. Applying sensitivity labels to these containers helps enforce access controls, external sharing restrictions, and privacy settings at the workspace level. Once published, users will see the label option when creating a new team, SharePoint site, Microsoft 365 group, or Power BI workspace. So if we click on to here, we can set our type in terms of privacy, private, public, or org wide, and we can set the sensitivity label. To recap, container labels apply to Teams, SharePoint, M365 groups, and Power BI. They control privacy, sharing, and access settings, and you can create and publish them via Microsoft Purview.